it just bothers me when I try to talk to him and he act like he don't hear anything I said. Like, I get it. Your mind is focused here. But you're telling me you didn't hear anything I said? I realized I don't really do introductions on this page and that isn't really my thing but I also realized that there are people who don't know who I am and it probably would do me so good to like introduce myself if you're new here hi I'm Tierra Lene I've dedicated this channel specifically to just lifestyle and motherhood and millennialhood I'm trying to encourage people to you know see the realness of everyone's day to day and not be so discouraged by the aesthetic of what we're seeing on social media. So with that being said, I have so much to tell you guys. Um, today is day five of 75 hard. If you don't know what 75 hard is, it's pretty much a mindset shift type of program. And I say that because while there are physical fitness aspects to it, the focus of it um, it's supposed to be on shifting, you know, the thoughts that kind of run through our mind and tell us that we can't be the best version of ourselves that we can be. Um, it was created by Andy Fasella. I'll put it down in the description below um, if you're interested. But that's what we're working on right now. And with that being said, it's been a lot going on in the past couple of days. I'm just so proud of myself for not giving in to temptation and, you know, being disciplined. I'm proud of myself. It's only day five. So I have to remind myself of that because this is really getting hard. And I live in Chicago, well, Illinois, west suburbs of Chicago. And it's getting cold out here. Snow has not really hit and stuck, but it's getting cold out here. And one of the aspects of 75 hard requires that you do a workout outside for 45 minutes every day. And at first it was cool because I was just taking a walk during my lunch break or a little later on in the day. But now it's like 35 degrees outside and I walked yesterday in the cold and I was not, I was not ready. I was not ready. And it was, it was bad. Um, but I did it. I did it. So I, I think I have the mental fortitude to, to do this thing. It's just, can my mind and my body meet each other and say together, we're going to do this thing. So we still, we're still here. We're still here. We haven't missed a day yet. I'm, I'm proud of that. The water, I need to start drinking my water a lot earlier because chugging this last bottle at the end of the day is terrible. But I have updates. I have updates. I have updates. I don't know if you guys can see. I changed out my desk. So I had a desk over here. It was kind of like more of a wood base to it. Um, I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. It had to be like screwed into the wall because it was one of those like Murphy bed type of desks. So it would fold up into the wall and fold back down. It just, it was, it was unsturdy. It was too small. I just didn't like it. So Jared took it down. Max, get down from there. Down, down, down. So Jared took it down and I went to Ikea and I got this one. He built this for me yesterday. I love it. I love it. I also love this setup because there's so much natural light that I'm going to get from this window now. So it's just, it's, it's wonderful. And it's definitely going to inspire me to be more productive and spend more time studying like I'm supposed to. So I'm excited. It's just the whole the whole scene is coming together. Now, with that being said as well, so this is the 
situation we're dealing with over here. Okay, so it's much more organized than it was in video number one, episode one. Um, because we've actually now labeled the boxes that need to go to storage. I think there's only actually two. And that's why I'm so glad we went through all of these. Because we were just going to put everything in storage. And I just knew that that's not what I wanted to do. Because I knew that there was stuff in here I could throw away. I knew there was stuff in here that I could put on a bookshelf. So, and see now my cat just doing whatever he wants. So I was just like, I was like, I need to go through all these boxes. I have to. So I'm glad we did that. And now I know what it is that I'm working with. So we got a bookcase as well. So once that's out, like storage what? You know, we may not even need storage. So I'm going to finally have my dining room once this is all cleared out. And I'm excited about that too. So it's coming along. It's coming along. It's coming along. Um, this morning is a little slow. I decided to... Hold on a second. This morning, I decided I was just, I was not going to work. Um, I wasn't feeling really well. I mean, let me stop. It's not that I wasn't feeling well. My body was just tired. And I mean, just drained completely. This five days of this program, my body is already starting to be like, Tierra, what are we doing? Because it's a lot. It's a lot on your body. You're not taking really a day off. My body is feeling it. And I'm like, I need to take the day. Yesterday was super, super busy. I had to drive to church. Then from church, I went to that party. And then from the party, I had to make a stop at the grocery store. And then by the time I finished doing that and I got home, I had to do my second workout. So I was just busy all day. And I think it just caught up with me this morning. So I called off. Um, I decided also, because of everything that happened yesterday, I didn't really get a chance to spend time with Journey. So I'm, I kept her from going to daycare today so we can spend the day together. But having said that, I have other things that I want to get done today too. So it's going to be a lot of moving around, multitasking, having her do some things with me around the house. I mean, she's barely two years old, so we'll see how that goes, honestly. Um, but I, just, I told myself, it's going to move slow today. Let it move slow. You took the day off. Let, let it move slow. Do what you can do. I'm going to try to reset the house as much as I can. Jerry did a phenomenal job yesterday while I was gone of cleaning this house. And by clean, I mean put everything together so it doesn't look like a hot mess. But the cleaning that I want to do involves like sweeping and mopping and wiping down, you know, countertops and deep cleaning the bathroom. Like that's the stuff I want to do today. So we're going to see what we can get done. Um, I have to do my morning workout first my plan is to do yoga this morning because i've been hitting hard with the with the strength training and the cardio uh, and my body needs something a little more low impact today so we're gonna do a low impact yoga flow um because i'm still moving still grooving i'm gonna have to do my walk later on today anyway so i just need my body to kind of just move a little slow today 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 is just a slow day it's a slow day it's a slow day you need that sometimes you need a slow day. And today I need a slow day. So we're going to move slow today. Um, and we're going to see. We're going to see. Because sometimes I think I try to pack so much into my day and move so fast. That my anxiety just like starts distracting me from actually being productive. I feel like if I take time today, maybe I'll get more done. Because I'm being more considerate about how I feel and about what I'm willing to do. So we're going to see. But that's the plan today. I'm going to hit the mat while she's still playing in her room. And then at breakfast time, I'm gonna give her breakfast and then the day's gonna really start to unfold. So, moving slow, moving slow, moving slow.
Okay, so it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Journey is taking a nap. A lot has happened in the past few hours. So after my workout, I made some breakfast. I had already fed Journey, so I kind of just let her play around the house. She was walking around and around. Um, I went ahead and took a bath. I decided to take a bath. And now I'm kind of just, I decided, like I said, it's gonna be a slow day. So I'm doing a lot of self care. Um, I am working on my nails right now. I don't want to touch them because they're still wet. Um, and I'm going to apply some Falscara lashes from Kiss um, and see what the hype is about while I'm watching some YouTube and just relaxing. Um, I do have some editing I need to take care of, which I'm probably going to have to do a little later this evening because I'm sure Journey's going to wake up within the next 30 minutes or so. So I'm trying to do as much as I can, as quick as I can. Um, she rustled a Tesla now, so. Um, and then once she gets up, I think I'm going to take her out for a walk. It's actually pretty nice right now, and I want to get her outside before it gets too cold. So that's the plan for the rest of the day. Um, we are on bottle number two. It's kind of full, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but we're getting there. And I'm glad because it's the middle of the day. So I'm almost at the halfway point and, you know, cause if we have to keep chugging this water before bed, it's gonna be, it, we're gonna be in a bad way. So everything's going good right now. I'm so glad I took today off to have this mental health day. It was so needed, it was so needed. And sitting here at my desk, y'all. Oh, I know that was probably a mess, but <laughs> I got a lot going on over here. Um, just feels good. Just feel good to finally get everything together. We've been living here for, this is coming up on month three now, but it just feels like it's just been taking so long to get our act together, but it has only been three months. So it, it's happening slowly but surely, but progress, any progress is good. Any progress is good. I have to keep reminding myself of that. I'm going to finish working on my nails and putting these lashes on and then i guess after that we'll be taking a walk i'm kind of just waiting for journey to wake up um so she has a little bit of energy you know so i'm not dragging a sleeping baby outside <laughs> but yeah i'll check back in with y'all later step on the sides um Okay, so I'm sure that was the most random clip. Um, so what I usually will do, especially when my outdoor workout involves me being in the cold, you know how like when you're doing a regular workout and you get like rest periods, sorry, um, you get like rest periods. So like, I wanna say maybe you get like a minute in between sets or 30 seconds or something like that so what I'll do is halfway through um, so like 22 minutes 23 minutes whatever I'll stop somewhere with a goal in mind that sorry here comes a fire truck oh my god it's so cold uh, okay it is so hard am I out of focus What's going on with my camera? I'm sorry guys, I am struggling. Trying to push this stroller and record. Uh, uh, this is what I'm saying is, 
I'll take a halfway point with a goal in mind, like today, like running Mariano's and get this juice. And I already know where it is. It's not gonna take me any more than a minute. Go in there, get it, come out. That way too, my body gets like a chance to warm up. Cause yesterday y'all, after I got home, I was shivering and I didn't know why. Like I was, I had been home for a minute and I just all of a sudden started shivering. And Jared's looking at me crazy like, girl, it is not cold in here. So I just took that as a cue that my body was like, bundle up and you know, take it slow next time. So I'm learning a lot about how I sustain in certain conditions for sure. Um, my biggest concern right now is Journey, because she's out here with me, but she's doing great. I've got her bundled up, and I've got the cover on her shoulder, so she's kind of chilling. I think she's fine. I've been, I've been checking on her like every two minutes, so we're almost done. Whew, this is rough. This is rough. But what, you know what, what's teaching me? Life does not care about your circumstances, about your situation, about your income, nothing. It doesn't care about your health. When life hits you, it hits you. And you gotta shift and you gotta move with what you got. And if you're able to build a stronger mental fortitude for the tough stuff. Those little, those little irritations and those little annoyances will mean nothing. So I'm using this as a little annoyance. All right, we're inside now. Um, I also got some bananas for the little one. So banana. Banana, as you can see, I am, I stripped myself down because I, look at this, those are sweat marks. I'm sweating. It's real out there. Like, it's really real. But we did it. I always feel so rejuvenated after my second workout because I'm like, I really did that today. Like, so I feel pumped. So, I'm going to feed her this banana and then... I did not get any cleaning today. Let me tell you. When when rest and self care chucked in, I said, you know what? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rest today. So no cleaning got done. We might try that tomorrow. <laughs> um, but not today. Okay, do not sleep on these pre-made chopped salads that are in the grocery store because I literally just heated up some grilled chicken strips also from the freezer section of the grocery store and put them in my salad. The dressing already comes in there, toppings and everything. And if you don't want the dressing or the toppings, then don't put it in there. Don't sleep on these pre-made salads, y'all. They're good. Well, I wish they would put more dressing in them. Absolutely. I feel like they never have enough dressing. But don't sleep on these. Don't sleep on these. So I'm eating my lunch right now. Um, I have some chicken brining in the fridge. I think I'm going to do tacos later with the chicken. Chicken tacos. So yeah, I think I'm just going to really just relax. Journey is in her room playing. And so I think I'm just going to have some mommy time. Maybe watch some YouTube videos. If I feel like it, I might do some editing. If I don't, then I won't. Again, today's a slow day. And I'm I'm feeling good about having set that intention early because I'm not feeling so guilty and anxious about what I did not get done because I did not have any expectations to get anything done today. So, feels good. Feels good. Taking care of me, getting my mind right. Tomorrow's always a new day. And I think tomorrow, I'm probably going to focus on planning out 2024 so we'll see what that look like 
Um, but this is a good day five for the 75 hard. I'll tell you that much. I got my two workouts out of the way. Check. This water is next. I'm coming for this water. I'm coming for this water. Oh, maybe I'll sit here and read because I did not do my 10 pages yet. So maybe I'll do that. But I got to do these nails too. I don't know. We're going to do something. It just feels good to slow down today. That's all. And I would encourage you to do... I would, I would encourage you to do... Huh, why can't I find my words? I would encourage you to do the same. <laughs> um, if you feel like, you know, just overwhelmed or burnt out in any type of way. Because life... Life is overwhelming just by itself. So I needed today. Today was good. Today was good. And I'm glad I had Journey here with me because I don't feel like I really get enough time with her. So being able to spend time with her today was really valuable for me. I don't think I recorded any of that because why? <laughs> uh, today was more about just slowing down and emphasizing how important that that is and highlighting some of... Uh, you know, just just regular day stuff. Um, but in that slowing down, I did not want to always feel like I had to pick up my camera to record. So that felt good too, because I feel like the past few weeks, um, especially now that I've been more consistent on this channel, I've been almost like creating overwhelm, if that makes sense. Like I've been adding things to my to-do list that I did not need to add. So it just felt good today to just like, just focus on Tierra. What does Tierra feel like doing right now? How does Tierra feel? What does Tierra want to eat? I mean, I can't have them cookies, but you know. So now it is, it's about four o'clock. Um, Jared gets off work in exactly 18 minutes, which means depending on traffic, he may be home a little after five. And at that point, it's really up in the air after that because <laughs> I don't know. I think it might be a game tonight. Whenever the Bulls are playing, I, I already know. Listen, listen, if your partner watches any type of sports, you better figure out how to get into that sport because other than that, just be fine with not interacting with them during that time because it's not happening. So, I mean, if there's a game tonight, it's really not a big deal because... Jared and I are really good about being each, in each other's space, but having our own space, if that makes sense. So, like, last night, he was watching some rap videos. He loves watching these battle rap videos. I just, I don't get it. But he's watching these battle rap videos while I was reading. So, like, I don't know. I, it, it don't bother me now. It just bothers me when I try to talk to him and he act like he don't hear anything I said. Like, I get it. Your mind is focused here. But you're telling me you didn't hear anything I said? I don't know. So we'll see. Tonight's going to be whatever tonight's going to be. Um, I, again, not setting any expectations for the rest of the day outside of completing all of the things I need to complete for 75 hard. I'm going to get out of this horrible lighting because <laughs> it's getting dark outside. So the lamp over there in my living room is lighting this scene. These lashes. Okay, listen. I'm still feeling a little iffy about them. But on camera, they look better than they do up close. And I don't know if that means I should still take them off. But I don't know. Because here's the thing. I'm not trying to wear... I'm trying to wear no makeup. Um, I've been focusing on my skincare for like the past two years or however long Jared and I have been married. Um, Because my makeup artist for my wedding actually really inspired me to focus on my skincare more than anything. Cause I looked at her skin and I was like, girl, what kind of makeup do you use? She was like, I don't use any. I'm like, how do I get that life? So that's my focus is just getting my skin right. So I don't have to wear the foundation, the concealer, the everything that really just weighs your skin down and just creates that aging look that nobody wants. We want to stay looking young and while makeup, temporarily gives us that once you take it off you know i want to look good with makeup on and off so i've been focusing on my skincare so with that i don't like wearing makeup but i know my eyes need a little more pop and mascara alone just has not been doing it for me so i've been back and forth about these lashes i tried these what is the name of this 
Foscaras. Foscaras from Kiss. These are actually very easy to put on, like it says. Like, that's no cap. These are very easy to put on. Um, but it's just, I'm trying to understand if I want. It's the look. I'm trying to see if I like the look. So, I don't know. We'll revisit. But let me know. Is it the lighting that's making it bad? Or are they just a no? Or maybe they're a yes and I'm being too critical. What you think? So, it's the next day. Um, I don't even remember how I ended yesterday, but it's the next day. Actually, early to mid-afternoon. Um, and I am wishing things would have went a little faster. But right now, I am doing our walk again outside. Actually, it's really nice out, it's sunny. Not terribly cold. Oh, I'm going uphill now. So, and just to the cold, that's why I'm breathing heavy. This is actually my first workout of the day. This morning, Jared wasn't feeling too well, so he decided to call in. So we kept Journey at home too. So it's been kind of a slow day. Haven't been doing too much. Our house is a mess still, but that's okay because I have to go to Ikea later to get the rest of the pieces for my bookcase that Jared is, as we're speaking, finishing up at home. Because um, even when he doesn't feel well, he does all of his husbandly duties. <laughs> as he calls it that should be done today and then i'll be able to get more organized because i have somewhere to put my stuff so that'll be good oh my god okay rudolph so yeah so today i am only about a little over a fourth of the way through my water drinking for the day so we gotta hustle on that because last night i kid you not i had oof, a little less than half of my gallon to drink before I went to bed. And that I don't think was healthy because I legit tried to, um, I legit tried to guzzle it down and I just felt my stomach swelling from all the water. And obviously like your, your stomach only takes so much. So I had to slow down. So pretty much, I just need to drink my water like throughout the day. I keep thinking I'm gonna be able to just down it right before bed and that is not a good idea. So I'm working slowly here. When I get home, I'm gonna have a, wa a bottle of water when I get in. I no longer take water with me on these walks because I know I'm gonna drink it. And the danger with that is having to use the bathroom and having nowhere to go. So I do not drink my water while I'm walking. I do not even take it with me because I know my bladder can't take it. So yeah, bladder, that's the word I was looking for. I said stomach, what? My bladder. So I'm almost done with this walk and then I'm gonna head to Ikea. So we are on our way to Ikea. I have to pick up a couple of pieces that I forgot to grab when I got the bookcase that Jared is building. Um, and I mean, they're just small metal pieces that connect 
all of the smaller bookcases together to make one big bookcase. So I'm just gonna grab that and then I'm gonna run over to Target um, because while we do plan our meals ahead of time, like for the entire week, and we get groceries for the entire week, sometimes we just don't anticipate certain things. Especially now having started 75 hard, um, I've been a lot hungrier <laughs> than I thought I was going to be. And so we're gonna have to increase our portion sizes when we start ordering groceries, uh, especially in the name of protein. So did not consider that. So I'm gonna grab a few things from Target. Um, I think that's it. So that's just the plan today for the rest of the day. Hopefully I don't get lost in Target again, but we already know the hold that Target has on me. So we're gonna try not to let that happen because I am supposed to be doing dinner tonight. And so I need to make sure I'm home at a reasonable time. So I think I'm gonna give myself like an hour and a half at most to get home. So it's 4.30 right now. Let's see, let's see if I can Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so I can't make this up. So my driver's rear tire is at three PSI, whatever that means in terms of the air that's in my tire, meaning that it's essentially flat. And I did not realize this until I'm, I'm like on the road and I'm hearing my car like make that room like I'm trying to speed and I'm like I'm really driving a regular speed limit what's going on and I looked down at my dashboard and it said I mean I already knew the tire pressure was low that tire for some reason I think that's the tire we got changed out it's just it don't do right so I already knew that the tire pressure was low but I didn't know it was that low because it wasn't showing me on the dashboard and then when I heard that noise I'm like oh my god so I didn't even get to get to Target yet, so I'm just gonna go home. My husband said he's going to take care of it, and he told me just come straight home. But it's already almost six o'clock, and this is what I get from messing around in Ikea, and I have to get dinner ready. So maybe while he's doing that, I can at least start my prep to do dinner because this is ridiculous. I am legitimately irritated right now. Like, I don't know what to do outside of just go home and I'm glad I you know noticed it when I did when I was close enough because I could have been stranded somewhere so I'm just gonna hurry up and get home and we'll figure it out I'm not gonna stress about it if anything I can grab the essentials that I need from Aldi down the street I mean Target is not that far I think it's just the, it's just the idea of me already being out and having to come back out you know so we'll see i'm not i'm not gonna stress about it though i'm just glad i noticed it before i was stranded somewhere because that would have been awful so i'm almost home i'll check back in
All right, so we're back in the car. Jared was able to get air in the tire. So I'm gonna head back out and head to Target to get some of those other things on my shopping list that I did not grab earlier. And then we're gonna head back home. I'm gonna take care of dinner. Still have to do my second workout of the day. Still have to finish my water. Still have to finish my book. Still have to take my progress picture. It it's a, it's gonna be a night. It's gonna be a night. Still have a lot of things to do. So either it's gonna be a late night for me, which likely it will be, or I'm gonna have to try to pack it all into a short amount of time, which I don't think I'm going to do. So pray for me, y'all. I'm trying to stay productive, but today was just moving so slow, and now it's like I'm running up on the butt end of this day and having to hurry up. So I'm gonna hurry up, I'm gonna get off this camera, and I'm gonna head to the store because we're on a time crunch now. All right, so it is, it is Wednesday, which means I should be in the office right now. And as you can see, I am not. You wanna let them know what happened, mama? <gasps> so we're all home, me, Jared, and Journey, uh, because we got about, I wanna say five minutes out from her daycare and the car started to stall. Like it kept like, I feel like, you know, even if Jerry was hitting the gas and we had just filled up the tank and we had just gotten an oil change last week. So we were trying to figure out what was going on because today was gonna have to be a day that I drove the car because we were supposed to go to church after work today for Bible study, but it doesn't look like any of that's happening. So we dropped her off at daycare and we're like, we gotta take care of this. He wasn't comfortable with me driving the car to work. Um, and I really wasn't comfortable with me driving the car to work. So we literally stopped at five different auto repair shops, mechanics, ended up at our dealer, just to figure out what was wrong with it. And basically the engine is shot. The place by her daycare is not close to the house. So Jared was like, it'd probably just be better to go to the Kia dealer out by our house to get easier service and quicker service. So that was really it. Um, so we had to come back home so that we could take care of it out here instead of all the way out there. So we ended up picking her back up. It's just been a really long, stressful day already. And it's still early afternoon. Um, yeah. I'm trying to see the positive in all this. I'm trying to remain hopeful and grateful because right now I'm a little stressed. And then with all of this going on, I'm forgetting to drink my water. <laughs> I almost didn't do my workout this morning. So <sighs> I'm just taking a deep breath and just kind of like letting life flow because I have to remind myself that life is gonna life. Like it's not gonna stop just because you feel like you're doing good in this world. It's still gonna life. So. <sighs> Just remain encouraged because not everything happens the way you want to, but it happens the way it's supposed to. So, but this is day seven. I made it a whole week on 75 hard. I am so proud of myself, y'all. You don't even understand. Um, I'm just so proud of myself. There have been, there has been temptation at every single corner. Okay. Like getting up to work out temptation, not to do that. It's too cold outside temptation, not to do my second workout. I walk outside. You know, I go to the cookie party. Oh, those cookies look so good. I want one. Temptation to break my diet. Like, it's getting late and I haven't finished my water. Temptation to just not drink it and start over tomorrow. Like, every single turn. But I'm doing this. And I'm proud of myself. And I know that I can do this. So, I'm just, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I, I just, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a shift in energy here. And I love it. I love it. All right. So I'm going to give y'all a tour of this office space once I finally get it together. But we're working on it. So I'll check back in with y'all a little later. Okay. So that did not go as planned. Looks like they're going to have to take the car for a few days. Oh, and he left 
Jared uh, left the car seat by accident, so we gotta go back and get that. We're probably gonna have to get a rental. This is just, I'm mentally exhausted right now. So, putting my energy into something else. Uh, I'm making these salads. Look at that, y'all. Oh, it's getting foggy because it's so steamy. I told y'all the pre-made salads do not miss. 